There's been a lot of talk recently about Kelly Stafford and her revelation on the Off the Vine with Caitlin Bristow podcast about how she secured her relationship with Super Bowl winning quarterback Matthew Stafford. And of course, Stephen A. Smith had a lot to say about this. But before we get into his take, let's set the context. As the great Ari Jacob discussed, shout out to her website, littlemissjacob.locals.com. There is a viral clip going around that is completely out of context of Matthew Stafford's wife, Kelly Stafford, talking about how they met in college. I dated the backup to piss him off. I have personal knowledge of how absolutely lovely this couple is. I just hate fake news. Let's roll it back. Make sure you watch till the end so you know what really happened. Kelly Stafford explained how she dated Matthew Stafford's college backup to make him jealous. Her approach was obviously a strategic move to secure her relationship with Matthew. It wasn't some frivolous game. Stephen A. Smith's rant about Kelly Stafford is not only misguided, but it's downright wrong. Here's what he had to say. How is it that y'all know that men have egos and males are ego dominant, but you forget that when it comes to your own man? What could possibly make you, if you are Mrs. Stafford, what could possibly make you think that it is okay for you to go home after revealing to the public, I kicked it with his backup. What possible, possible advantage could that, could you peel from that with a husband of yours who you have four kids with? I met the woman once. She's a nice lady. I'm not casting any aspersions on her character or anything like that. I would never disrespect Matthew Stafford's wife or anybody else's wife. I'm just making the point. What would make you think that's okay? Why would you do that? I flat out disagree with Stephen A. Smith. Her brag was about how she secured her man. Why would her man be mad at that? I'm married. I'm grateful for my wife. If she goes on a show and talks about how she manipulated my dumbass to realize she was the one, I'm good with that. Because we're married, she is the one. Got two kids. Wait, who's the bad boy, too? Like, Matthew's so sweet and Southern gentleman and all yeah. that stuff. And the, the backup was... The complete opposite. Yeah. Met him, spent the evening with him, did yeah. not let him touch me the first time. <laughs> I was so, I don't know, I was still coming out of high school. I was in a long relationship in high school. Okay. So you're whatever. prude. Okay, got it. Oh, 100%. <laughs> I'm only saying that because I was a huge slut. So no. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> You know what? I had been with one guy. He was like, this is fun. I was like, oh, we're in a relationship? Because that's all I knew. Yeah. I didn't know casual dating. She had literally had one boyfriend. He's dating like 12s. <laughs> like he's dating supermodels. Yeah. Which... While people are leaving crude comments about how she dated the backup quarterback, Matthew Stafford had an absolute one-of-a-kind girl who loved him and wanted to date exclusively. And he was playing the field still. And so when she moved away, then he realized she was the love of his life she also said that some of the girls that matthew was dating were rushing her sorority house so she had to like talk to them and be nice to them and that would have been absolutely excruciating i'm sorry but this is not a story about how kelly stafford did anything wrong this is actually the story of a hotshot quarterback who could have had any girl in the world but realized that he already had the love of his life and he almost fumbled the bag. Kelly Stafford's story, no matter what even happens from here, God forbid that they don't continue in the relationship, nine years, four kids, we know Kelly Stafford's story is one of determination and love. Kelly wasn't tricking Matthew into believing she was the right one. She was helping him realize that she actually was the right one, and that's a great story. Not only, as I mentioned, that they've been married for nine years and have four kids, and she's not some gold-digging hoe, that would be a problem if she were, but that's not the case. Matt has a ring, and Kelly survived her benign brain tumor with Matt by her side. Women should be taking notes. To my knowledge, Stephen A. Smith is not married. In this specific case that is relevant, he's jumping in and talking about somebody else's marriage and what's appropriate to be said and what's not. Well, Stephen A., you're not married. I wonder if you wish the right woman had done what it took to secure you and then talked about it on a podcast. It's easy to criticize from the outside, but understanding the nuances of a relationship is something else entirely. Stephen A. Smith jumped on Kelly Stafford's story without a second thought. It's a hot story. He's in the sports realm. Typical of today's professional reactors. It's all about speed and spectacle. No regard for depth. I'm sure Stephen A. didn't ponder his take at all. I've had my own hasty moments, but I aim to be thorough. 
that's a big reason why I post on X a lot, because if I say something that's off and I have to force myself to defend it, I've thought through these things. I've talked about friend of show, that girl Casey. She is on there better than me just doing text. She's more in the Twitter spaces, speaking, going, doing those verbal battles. She's tested. Her takes are tried, true, and tested. This is why Ari Jacob caught my attention. She actually thinks before she speaks. I bet you off the record, if you had a conversation with Stephen A. Smith and broke it down in that different way, off the record, he'd be like, yeah, you got a point. Middle MAGA.